What's up? Drew Paul Bell here, and today what I want to talk about is a major misconception that a lot of people have about using computer programs to help them in their architectural work. I think that a major misconception is that uh, people have experience doing things by hand and they know that it takes a long time to get things done. And then they look at the computer and they're told, that, oh, it moves so fast, it's, it's so quick, it generates stuff so, so quickly. And then they start using it and they think that as soon as they start using the computer, now this thing that used to take you know, 100% of the time is now gonna be like 2% of the time. They think that they're just gonna whip something out in like five seconds. And the fact of the matter is that computers will speed up things. Sure, you won't spend 100% of that time working on something, but it's not gonna be 5%. You're gonna be reduced to more like 80%. You're probably not even gonna cut stuff in half because you still have to design and make the design. So if you're working on a house, you're gonna to have to draw the walls, you're still gonna to have to draw the lines, you're still gonna to have to do a lot of work on the file. It's not gonna get cut down to zero, it's still a lot of work, but when you bring in changes, it's going to be easier to change. It's going to be easier to generate a lot of your products at once. Products being like drawings and renderings. So it is going to happen faster, but don't have the misconception that once you start using it, it's gonna take two seconds. That is going to take no time at all. All right, because that's just, that's just lying to yourself. If you do that, uh, you're gonna get in your head these, this expectation that it's not going to be lived up to, uh, and it's just going to lead to more disappointment, and also it's going to lead to people slacking. If you think that you should only take five seconds on something, you can do something in only five seconds, but it's going to be crap, and you're not going to find success doing that. Ultimately, just accept the fact that making things is hard. You know, I've said this before in other blog posts. This isn't something that is going to be necessarily easy. You might get better at it, and it might be there might be ways to like make it a little bit easier. But don't go through architecture school through architecture to practice, through life, thinking that by using this magic pill is going to make everything take two seconds. So anyway, this is kind of a minor piece of advice, but I think it's very important in terms of managing your own expectations and finding success in architecture and what you do. So anyway, I hope this helps, and I'll talk to you next time.